We are biking across Europe, starting in London and ending in Istanbul, Turkey. And we are going fully self-supported with all of our gear, including our camping equipment, on our bikes. We'll be biking 2,500 miles through 15 countries, where we will be exploring big cities and quaint towns, befriending locals, and experiencing amazing natural scenery. This will, without a doubt, be the biggest adventure we have ever attempted. But first, we have to pack. Guys, we're about to leave on our London to Istanbul biking adventure and we are getting things prepped, including packing up bikes in their boxes for the first time ever. We've never flown with our bikes and we also are getting all our gear set up here. We're gonna get everything packed up and then we're gonna head to the airport soon. So we got a couple of these boxes from Dave's bike shop. All you really need to do is remove your handlebar, front tire, lower your seat post, and remove your pedals. That should be all I need to do to get this bike in that box. Oh, the final pedal on Liz's bike, the hex head got stripped to the point where it was basically just a circle. So we had to try taking it off from the other side and it just won't budge. We tried heating it up with a torch, it won't move. And none of the bike shops are open today. I really hope it's enough time, but I'm really stressed about that. I just got back from Dave's bike shop and they were able to get the pedal off there. And he said it took them three guys to remove it. But now I can box it up. Now that we're supposed to leave in like two hours. So we just kind of want to get an idea for what this weighs. Because we do have a 50 pound limit and if we go over it, it's like an extra hundred dollars. So let's see. And that puts it at 37. Weight test number two. 131, this is more than 50 pounds. After adjusting the bike box weight, we said our final goodbyes to family. Getting ready for France, you know. <laughs> oh, Checkers wants his kisses too. Oh dear, he'll do the same. <laughs> and then headed towards Salt Lake to spend a night in our van before our early morning flight the next day. Just approaching the airport now. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Definitely the hardest trip we've ever had to pack for in our lives abroad. After landing in London, it was time to assemble the bikes in the airport. Starting to look up ready for adventure here. So we got our bikes packed up for the most part. The next phase is going to be, I think, the hard part where we're going to have to bring all of this on the train with us. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think the hard part's over. Next, we are doing a just a 14 minute walk to our warm shower house. It's actually our first time ever using warm showers. I'm very excited, a little nervous too, because just a random person that we talked to through the app. Alright 
Good morning, everybody. Today is the day. We are starting to bike from London to Istanbul, which is crazy still to say. Yesterday, we had just kind of like a getting over jet lag slash running last minute errands slash trying to cut down weight day. If you can tell by our bikes, we weren't super successful in the cutting down weight part. <laughs> We are excited to get started and we feel like we need to officially start at some of the iconic sites here in London So we're gonna go head there now. I'm wearing this because during our errands I felt like I was gonna die. City biking is a little scary for me. I'll take grizzlies over city biking <laughs> any day <laughs> It's super weird and I didn't think about this at all before, until we got here that you have to bike on the opposite side of the road It's like driving to follow like the driving rules and here in Britain they do the opposite side driving and so I'm pretty sure if Alex wasn't leading most of the time I would be crashing. be crashing and dead into one of those giant double-decker buses which are everywhere. Now it really feels like we can officially start our tour because we are at the famous Big Ben, one of the most iconic places in London. We've got the Eye of London over there and now it really feels like it's the start of our tour. We are outside Buckingham Palace. After Big Ben, we decided to just detour. It was only a mile out of the way. Now we're gonna go get some breakfast, some traditional English breakfast. and we're very familiar with travel and so it's very weird having kind of this intersection like I'm very used to seeing different cool sites at this point and then having my bike here just feels super super weird like I'm used to it in such different contexts that it's just kind of just a weird thing that I'm going through in my head this is exciting I'm just glad to finally be on the road we had amazing warm showers host so for those who don't know what warm showers is essentially people in the cycling community open their homes or backyards or whatever to different cycle tourists and so we were stayed at a really awesome place for the last two nights and they even stored our extra luggage that we're going to use for travel afterwards so they were amazing and i'm just glad that we're finally started like there was so much stress to getting prepped for this and now we're here and i'm at a cafe in london she has a mate <laughs> We are now about to have our first English breakfast of the day, of the trip. <laughs> I'm really excited about it because we are very hungry. But what we have here, this is traditional except we have a veggie sausage and a traditional English bre breakfast has bacon and sausage, which we're not doing. But we've got eggs, hash browns, veggie, veggie sausage, baked beans, mushrooms, and toast. Looks really good. There we go, that's probably good enough. Mm, that's really good. That's exactly what I need right now. All right, we're gonna do beans on toast. Some people don't like baked beans. I don't mind them. Mm. So we just left the breakfast place. So far, our experience with people in Britain has been extremely positive. Everyone's been so kind, so encouraging. It's awesome. I really don't think we were supposed to do that. Yeah, let's not do that again. Bike it across the London Bridge. We're about to head over to Tower Bridge. And it's a lot more impressive than London Bridge. Alright 
guys. We just went over Tower Bridge and London Bridge, but we are now gonna try to get out of the city because biking and traffic is sort of terrible. I'm using like five different apps to navigate us depending on the situation. The sun is starting to burn off these clouds. It's a beautiful day. We're now kind of out of the city and we're on this beautiful bike path right next to the Thames. Very good first day. Taking a quick lunch stop. We're about, I don't know, 25 miles or so away from where we're staying tonight, which is another warm shower host. I can't believe how much industries are all around the Toms. Thames. Thames. I'm, I mispronounce that all the time. The water is disgusting at points, like super gross. We definitely passed by some sort of like sewage, sewage or garbage plant. Whew. So far though, so good. It's better since we've left traffic. I'll take the sewage over the traffic. Lunch is a pretty typical outdoor adventure lunch for us, which is peanut butter and rice cakes. Alex has tortillas, I do rice cakes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. The only thing that's missing is Nutella. I do like it with Nutella. Oh, we should get some Nutella. Yeah, we definitely should. Are you sure we go that way? Packing trips, definitely questioning my packing decisions a little bit. We just got to our warm shower post, they seem awesome. We're just gonna head to a corner store, get some food for dinner and breakfast, which I think is gonna be our routine. And we are very hungry. <laughs> so hungry. I really only had planned for us to go like 35 or 40 miles our first day. We ended up going 53. I think we'll call it a night here on the vlog and we'll pick this back up tomorrow morning. If this isn't the most quaint English countryside, I don't know what is. Buckingham Palace. We are outside Buckingham Palace. <laughs> I'm totally not 
totally butchered that all the British people are gonna hate me. 